That's a great white shark! Whoa! Oh no, my creature power vest! Huh? I'm not really an orca calf! Chris, a little help? On my way, bro! Can we talk this out? Stay away from those teeth! Gotcha! Not so fast, buddy! This is one awesome orca! Uh, Marty, there's something wrong with your creature power suit. Ooh, that is a very unfortunate creature power suit malfunction. Yeah, I'm in a shark power suit in front of a shark eating orca. Great. Quick, send Swirly over. I've got to reactivate orca powers. I took Swirly back to her mom. Touch old shark tooth and reactivate. What? Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Oh, great orca ruler of the seas. <laughs> What is your favorite type of shark to eat? Nice one, bro. Distract him with your command of the orca language while I... Reactivate orca powers! Yeah. So, we all good? I think he thinks we're a little odd, but hey, when we're in our orca power suits and speaking orca, he accepts us as one of the pod. And we can take a look at this guy. Whoa, he's as big as they get. The size of a school bus. And as old as they get. I'd say almost 80 years old. And tough, too. Look at the scars. And check out the dorsal fin. A shark took a bite out of it. Incoming message. It's saying, help, shark. It's Swirly. She's in trouble. Come on, old shark tooth. Swirly needs her help. There she is! To the baby orca rescue! Whoa! Cool! Huh. Look at all the lights! Let's go out for a deep sea dive. Oh, I gotta check that out. Let's scoop up. What is that? Whoa, where'd that go? Martin? Martin, I'm still here. Where'd you go? I'm over here, the flashing light. Oh, okay, I can see you. Coming over. Wait, <laughs> you're not Chris. You're an angler fish. Wow. Oh, those teeth are awesome. Some of those fangs are so big, <laughs> they don't even fit in your mouth. Wow, clever fish. Most of your teeth are tilted inwards, so it's easy for your prey to swim in, but not out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Careful, bro. She's a dangerous predator, so watch out. Whoa. Martin, Martin, watch out! Watch out! Whoa. Whoa, you can't catch this. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. The light is actually millions of glowing bacteria trapped inside this little sack. She uses it to lure her prey close so she can catch it. <laughs> like it tried with me, but I'm way too good of a swimmer. Swimming's my thing. Martin? Get catches! Oh, yeah! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Where are you going? Whoa! Oh, dude! I think it wants to meet you! More like eat you! Whoa! Oh, faster, faster, Chris! Chris. Yeah! Faster! Oh, a D 
deep sea shrimp. Perfect. Glue. What? Glue? That deep sea shrimp has the best defense mechanism ever. When it feels threatened, it shoots out a glowing glue that confuses its predator. While the predator attacks the glue, the shrimp slips away. Incoming shark! Oh, oh, and she's a big one! Looks about five and a half meters. That's the largest predatory fish in the ocean, right there. But what is she there for? What gets cleaned at these cleaning station doohickeys anyway? She does. Yeah, check it out. And he's the guy that does the cleaning. Well, him and his buddies. Cleaner fish! Hmm. Oh, and she's pulling into the station. The body position. It's telling the cleaner as, please clean me. I may be a shark, but I won't bite, promise. And the fish version of a dentist says, no problem, that's what I do. They're picking parasites from the shark's teeth and mouth. For them, it's food, so it's a good deal. Sharks, rays, and all kinds of fish line up at these cleaning stations. Suckerhead's making his move. He's on! We better get in there. Okay, here we go. Hey, Sharky. Sharky? Uh, how about razor mouth? Look at those teeth. Yeah. Well, whatever. Sharky, razor mouth. Just go easy on us, big girl. Just want to find out more about you. Whoa. You can see new rows of teeth coming in behind the old ones. Oh, yeah. Those teeth never stop coming. We only have two sets of teeth, and that's it. Sharks, just keep growing them. Ah, and look. Sharks get loose teeth, too. What? Got it. Wow. They're serrated with those super sharp ridges on the edges, just like a saw. Those teeth are serious slicers and dicers. Chris, look out! We're drifting! Oh no, a current. It's pulling us off course! Yeah, and on course to be her main course! I hope she's not hungry. If she is, we're about to be shark bait. Whoa, please don't close your mouth. Please don't close your mouth. Uh... Woo! Close one. Time to meet this mission head on. Engaging head sucker place. Steady, steady. We're about to make contact. Three, two, one. Yes, we've landed. The first successful mission onto a great white shark in the history of creature adventuring. Yay, we did it. Mission control to Remora sub. Well done, guys. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we're, we're stuck, stuck on, on sharks! sharks. <gasps> Whoa! Now this is an impressive face. I'll call her Crocodilla. Oh, check out those teeth! 64 dagger teeth! Twice as many as we have. Oh, it's a good thing we just look like a couple of crocodile eggs. See? You don't trust her either. Just don't awaken the beast, guys. Ugh. I don't even think she sees us. She's in that special trance that crocodiles get into when they lay their eggs. The trance. She's at step two. Egg laying. Let's go. Uh, what, what? Did I crack? No, you're good. 56, 57, 57 eggs. <gasps> One by one, she lays her eggs in the nest chamber. Whew, if all these hatch, there'll be lots of little Nile crocodiles running around here in about three months. Oh! She's burying them. Are you kidding me? She just drops her eggs in a hole and covers them up? I told you guys, that is one cold creature. We'll see. Let's get in there, Martin. What? Get in where? Where else? The nest. We're crocodile eggs. Those are our pals down there, Aviva. Besides, how else are we gonna find out the secrets of crocodile birth? Let's get cracking, Martin. Croc, with around 68 teeth in his mouth. Gator jaws hold 80 teeth. Crocs and gators do meet each other where their natural habitats overlap, and sometimes they face off. 
Usually the size of the croc or gator determines which one backs down and which one wins. Crocs grow to six meters, but these two are pretty evenly matched. Maybe this gator is even a little bigger. I don't want to fall into that croc-a-gator fight! Jimmy's tower isn't going to last long with those bruisers going at it. Okay, what do we know about croc and gator behavior that could break up this fight? Huh? Wh what, me? <gasps> Maybe we already have the answer. Both crocs and gators are cannibals. Meaning they like to eat their own kind, who are smaller than them. We're in croc and gator suits, and we're smaller than them. Okay, now I get it. That's why they're looking at us like that. And if we get even smaller, I bet they'll really come after us. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? Uh-huh. The, the miniaturizer. miniaturizer! Here you go, guys. Okay, so now let's get out there and look delicious. How do you look delicious to a cannibal? I don't know, but let's try walking around real gatorish and crockish. 